February 11, 1969 in Sherman Oaks, California. Jennifer Joanna Aniston is an American actress and producer best known for her star-making role as Rachel Green on the beloved sitcom Friends. Born into a showbiz family, Jennifer has won numerous awards and has found success on both the small and big screens, starring in numerous successful comedies including Bruce Almighty, The Breakup, The Switch, and Horrible Bosses. Jennifer has also stretched her dramatic chops as well in films such as Cake, The Good Girl, and her most recent role as Alex on Apple Plus's The Morning Show. But you already knew that. So, here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Jennifer Aniston. Number 10. Acting is in her blood. Jennifer almost seemed destined to be an actress, as both her parents were successful actors in their own right. Her mother, Nancy Dow, was an actress and model appearing in a few TV shows in the late 60s, such as The Beverly Hillbillies and The Wild Wild West. Her relationship with her daughter was strained after Nancy wrote a tell-all memoir. But, reportedly, the pair reconciled after Jennifer's divorce from Brad Pitt. Nancy Dow died in 2016. John Aniston, Jennifer's father, is also a very talented actor, best known for portraying Victor in over 2,000 episodes on the long-running soap opera Days of Our Lives. Working since the early 60s and having a slightly better relationship with their daughter, John discouraged her from becoming an actress because he knew how tough of a business it was and didn't want to see his daughter get rejected. She disregarded his advice. Number 9. She had a rough childhood. Despite being one of the most respected and successful actresses in Hollywood, Jennifer's early years were far less glamorous. Her family moved a lot when she was a child before settling in New York City where she lived with her mother after her parents divorced when she was nine. Aniston revealed that her mother was always very critical of her. Aniston also struggled in school. She has dyslexia that she would not be diagnosed with until she was in her early 20s. She also admitted in an interview that she was bullied as a child, saying, quote, I was one of those kids who got sort of bullied, and I don't know why. I was one of the kids who the others would decide to make fun of. I was a little on the chubby side, so I was that kid. Number 8. She worked a lot of odd jobs. Before landing the role that would make her an international superstar, Aniston was just another struggling actress auditioning in both New York and Los Angeles after graduating high school. She said during a press conference for the film Horrible Bosses that the worst job she ever had was as a bike messenger in New York when she was 19, only working there two days when she crashed into an open door. She also had jobs as a receptionist at an advertising agency, an ice cream parlor in Lincoln Center, and then as a waitress. Number 7. Friends was not her first TV role. Fans may not know this, but Aniston has been appearing on their TV sets for years. In fact, she appeared on four different TV shows in the early 90s. She appeared with Future Blossom and Big Bang star Mayim Bialik on the short-lived Malloy. Let me know if you'd like a video on her. As Ferris Bueller's sister in a short-lived series based off the popular 80s movie, a Fox sketch series called The Edge in 1992, and a CBS comedy series called Muddling Through in 1994, right before auditioning for a little sitcom NBC was developing called Friends. Number 6. She was up against stiff competition for the role of Rachel. In 1994, Aniston auditioned for the role of Rachel Green the role that would ultimately change her life. But, there was a lot of well-known actresses at the time who also auditioned for the role, including Jane Krakowski, Tia Leone, Tiffany Thiessen, and Elizabeth Berkley, both of whom had just finished Saved by the Bell, and future co-star and best friend, Courtney Cox. Number 5. 
she almost didn't come back for Friends' final season. During Friends' run, Aniston and her co-stars became TV's highest paid actors in history, netting $1 million an episode during seasons 9 and 10. Despite this, Jennifer was hesitant about returning for the 10th and final season. Going through some personal issues within her relationship with then-husband Brad Pitt, Aniston revealed in a 2004 interview that, quote, I had a couple issues that I was dealing with. I wanted it to end when people still loved us and we were on a high. And then I was feeling like, how much more Rachel do I have in me? Luckily for fans of the show, she returned and got off the plane. Number four, she has a fear of water. In Cake, Jennifer plays a woman who was in a serious car accident and suffers from daily chronic pain. Several scenes of the film were shot in a swimming pool as Aniston's character had to undergo hydrotherapy. Aniston had a very hard time filming those scenes because according to the actress herself, when she was a child, she was riding her tricycle around a swimming pool and accidentally fell in. Because of this, Aniston can't go underwater to this day and has a serious fear of just being in water. Just as a side note, she also has a fear of flying. Number three, she sued the paparazzi. You'll be hard pressed to find an actress that has been in the pages of the tabloids more than Aniston. The actress has been a favorite of the paparazzi for years and has had to suffer from countless rumors and lies being published about her and, on several occasions, has had to deal with the paparazzi invading her privacy while at her own home, of which she has sued them for it. In 2000, Aniston sued two magazines for publishing topless photos of her that were taken in her own backyard, and in 2006, she settled the suit after several topless photos of her were mailed to several magazine editors without her knowledge or consent, and once again taken while she was in the privacy of her own home. Number two, she remains one of the highest paid TV actresses of all time. In 2018, it was reported that Aniston has a net worth of over $240 million due to her acting roles, endorsements, and her own production company. She also still makes millions of dollars a year from Friends, despite the show ending in 2004. Because of streaming and syndication rights, Aniston and her co-stars still make $20 million a year from the show. And with Netflix paying a reported $100 million to keep Friends on their site, Aniston also earned 2% from that, earning her just a tidy little sum of $2 million, which, at this point, is probably what you would find in her couch cushions. Number 1. She doesn't mind posing naked, under the right circumstances. Though she sued the paparazzi for taking topless pictures of her, Aniston has said on multiple occasions that she enjoys posing nude. In a recent interview on Ellen, she said about a photo shoot she did with Harper's Bazaar, where the actress posed topless for the magazine, quote, I'm not ashamed of that. No one should be. I think our bodies are beautiful, and I think celebrating them and being comfortable in them, no matter what age you are, is important. There shouldn't be any kind of shame or discomfort around it. But that doesn't mean she's willing to drop her clothes at the drop of a hat. In 2009, after she posed in nothing but a necktie for GQ, she was reportedly offered $4 million by Hugh Hefner to pose for Playboy. She turned them down. When asked why she said no to them, but yes to GQ, she simply said, GQ is art. Playboy is sex.